So what we're gonna do is swap out this tire with a street tire. This also applies if you're trying to fix a flat. First, let's remove the pedals. Now, the battery cover. It's convenient that the screws are all the same shape and size. I'm gonna disconnect the battery first. I wanna bleed the system of all power. I turn it on and I wait for it to shut off. And to do the final draining of the power, I use a pair of tweezers. Do not do this to the battery side. Ah! Free the display and the beeper from the top cover. If the wires were longer, I wouldn't have to do this. I want to remove all the cables that are associated with the motors. I'm not using a knife to free the connectors because I don't want to slice the wires. The roll cage is a pain in the ass to remove, but you can work it. Definitely be more careful than this. You do not want to damage the battery. Now it's time to free the motor and swap out that tire. The knobby tire is not directional, but the street tire is, so you gotta make sure it spins in the right way. When you're putting this back together, make sure that those motor connectors have a good electrical connection. You want to make sure that there's no crap stuck to it. Now let's reconnect the batteries. Sparks are normal. Hopefully no spark here. Perfect. The silicone glue is some sort of waterproofing, but I think it's more important that it just prevents the connectors from coming loose. This is really not a friendly thing to take apart. All right, moment of truth. Oh yeah. Hundred and four kilometers an hour. God damn. Right now it's feeling smooth. I'm liking it. Much quieter. Not balanced properly. I can definitely feel a bump every time it rotates. Something's going on right now. Damn it. We just missed that. We got unseated and then it popped. Saddest day ever. Ready? I'll be careful. Just makes me want to go outside.